It's crooked. I can see it. Tell me. I can't see it's a problem. Are you still recording? Yeah. Whoa, my penis. Spanish? Cuatro. I can't roll my R's. <laughs> and I'm from Tennessee, so it's not <laughs> correct. Let's do it. All right, welcome back, Throat Punch Pros, coming to you live from Wing Deer Park in Johnson City, actually. Oh. I'm mountain back here a lot. And we're currently sitting in the outdoor classroom because I thought that'd be fun. <laughs> I thought this is where they film Deliverance. It's not. There's no banjo music yet. Wait, a listen, recently, listen, so. do you hear it? Wait. I, I hear it too. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so what's up, everybody? Uh, thank you guys for tuning in yet once again to the Throat Punch Pros podcast. I'll only call Throat Punch because, uh, I don't know, I just thought that sounded better and I thought maybe more people would find it that way because we all have somebody we want to throat punch. Maybe or they. cock punch or whatever. I, that almost happened recently. Same thing. Uh, Jeremy's going to do a better job about trying to speak up today, so y'all can hear him a little better. Try better. He's More. not enunciating well. I enunciate fine. I'm just not loud <laughs> AF, apparently. And I am loud AF. It's your it's your personal car life business. I think you just have to be loud, and like I don't have to be. Says the man in the pink shirt. My throat tattoo speaks for me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, today it's kind of. Uh, kind of an oddball one it's um not really about anything in particular except for my boy jeremy here has been talking about doing something for uh, i think 19 years but he says it's only a couple of months sure, sure, sure. um and that thing is actually finally coming to life uh he got a group on no, i'm just kidding uh, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> he uh he got a, a uh, access code, won some type of thing there for some monies off of this uh, special trip. Um, unlike his last trip, which was to the gay bar in Las Vegas with... Uh, There's a discount for that. What was that lady's name? <laughs> RuPaul? Is that who you went with? I don't know if this is your story you're making up. You tell me <laughs> what her name was. But anyway, so Jeremy has a little piece of news that he wants to tell everybody. And I thought that's probably the simplest way to bring this in is say, Jeremy... Why in the fuck are you going to Alabama? <laughs> of all places. So... Wait, I know. I know what it was. No, you don't. He does not. <laughs> Whatever his answer is, is wrong. You watched that movie, didn't you? What movie? Where you, the girl got told. You need to go back home to Greenbow, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Forrest Gump. I'm going to Alabama for Forrest Gump. That's why I'm going. For Gen A. Um... <laughs> So, this has been on my story on Facebook and Instagram lately, but if you don't follow me there, well, it's your own damn fault. Um, so, I love shooting film. I'm like, fairly obsessed with it. For anybody who doesn't know me at all, um, it's a problem. It's a big problem, if you ask my wife, probably. Um, but, the lab that I prefer to use is called Indie Film Lab. They're based out of Alabama. Um, they have went in partnership with some other people. And they are put, putting on a uh, film workshop for four days in Alabama at a 4-H camp called Long Live Film. And it's something I've been wanting to do for, well, since the second I heard about it. Um, for lots of reasons, but my all-time favorite photographer, Ryan Muirhead, is speaking at this conference, workshop, whatever you want to call it. And that's exciting to me. Um, like, <laughs> our friend Tater if you're listening and or watching uh he likes to give me crap because of how much i man crush air quotes for the podcast uh because recently ryan had commented and liked some of my photos on instagram which doesn't seem like a big deal to most people but like it's a big deal to me oh it's the greatest thing in the world he he like facetimed me when it <laughs> happened he facetimed me with his computer up so i could see it and he was literally going oh my god oh my god oh my god none of that's true i'll facetime anybody <laughs> I'm too old for that crap, apparently. I don't even know how to work my own phone. Uh, so it did not happen. But I'm very excited to know in three weeks I'll be headed to Alabama. So we're at Wing Deer Bike Park. Bike Park. So there's a mountain bike trail surrounding us. 
so at any given time we could have some guest appearances <laughs> um, and or noise or maybe that's just squirrels I don't know but yeah, yeah. so I'm going to Alabama for a film only no digital film only workshop so film only workshop you're going to let's see here, here well here's my question because we haven't even had this discussion much I know he was going I know he got the discount code I know he was doing somersaults in his living room when he got it um, his wife told me um, but so when you go to a workshop such as this because I'm sure I've never been probably most of the people listening and or watching have probably never been anything like that either um what what i mean what are you going for what's what's the the end game well luckily i've never been to this one either or one like this one um it's i don't invest in myself a whole lot as far as the business is concerned so this is one of those things like i've wanted to do but i just had a hard time justifying and this experience and this learning moment over like equipment and or advertising or whatever uh, so like it worked itself out thank goodness uh, but I hope personally to walk away from this with a much better understanding of shooting film like I love to do it I don't feel like I'm good at it um, because like with film it it's not the same digital you can shoot a thousand frames and like oh there's the one I like I mean you have to pay for every roll of film every and unless you do your own to develop the film to scan the film uh, so like you are much pickier about the frames you take and everybody anybody who shoots film if you've ever listened to a film podcast or YouTube, people tell you how it slows you down. Uh, so I'm not going to harp on that, but they're not wrong. Like, you slow down because of the, I think, the cost. And, like, it's just you want to get it right because, like, you can't just delete it and start all over. So I'm hoping to come away with a lot more experience, uh, meeting some of my idols, obviously. Uh, and, and, just, and the film community is different than the digital. There's so much hate and, like, I don't know, competition in the digital sure. photography world. I mean, it's how, you know, a lot of us make our livings. Exactly. And I get that, but, like, I mean, people who shoot professionally but use film also do the same thing. True. But the the love and, like, the acceptance for that is so different. Um, and, I, and maybe that's part of the reason I'm drawn to it. Like, in a world so full of hate, like, having something that, that's just a positive experience for a change has been pretty, it's been pretty exciting. Uh, we are recording a podcast, but my favorite podcast outside of this it's called Analog Talk Podcast, and it's 100% film related. Slide film, Insta film, 35, 120, whatever film they, they cover, and it's amazing. Um, so if you like film and you like this podcast, go check those out as well. But yeah, so I hope to walk away with like some knowledge that I currently don't have. So do you take, like, I mean, are you going to roll in there with Black Betty, or <laughs> what happens? Yeah, Black Betty will definitely be on my hip. Explain to everybody what Black Betty is that don't know. Black Betty is my Pentax 645N with the 75mm 2.8 lens, uh, 120 medium format film. Uh, I've got the, I've got a couple of rolls of Portrait 400 and a couple of rolls that my friend Katie gave me that we talked about last week of Fuji 400H, I believe is what she gave me, that are expired, which I love shooting expired film. So I've got about six rolls of 120 film, and then I'm going to take... I'm definitely taking the Contax G1 as well and the 45mm F2. I don't know what I'm going to shoot in that yet. Uh, there's some black and white socks I've never tried, and there'll be some like campfire, like late night hangout sessions here. And there's some films that shoot like 3200 ISO, oh, which nice. I think would be cool. So I might buy a couple of those just to have for those moments. Um, but if you shoot film, that's a 36 exposure roll. So you have to take 36 photos to freaking change that film. <laughs> so it's going to be a lot of film shooting at night if I have to use that. Uh, but I think, it, I mean, of course, there's pushing and pulling film. I'm not getting into that because I don't understand it. Um, but yeah, so I'll, and I may take my Minolta EX7 as well um, in the 50 millimeter. But no more. That's it. Three cameras. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'll only take three of my film cameras with me. The funny, the funny thing, and we were talking about Black Betty, which is his camera, this, the Pentax that he has. Uh, if, if you've never saw that camera or touched that camera or looked at that camera, um, if you can imagine taking uh, a 20 pound cinder block <laughs> like and that. holding it up to your face, that's kind of what that camera reminds it's me of. It's that heavy. It is big. I mean, I, I mean, and I think that's part of it too. Like, I don't think people understand, like, the, like even I think, I mean, in digital photography, medium format sensors are so much larger. Mm -hmm. And in film, the film's bigger as well, but it's also, in my opinion, further away from the, the lens. It just gives a different perspective. But I mean, so yeah, I mean, it's it's massive with a handle. It's like a it's like a toaster with a handle, but heavier. <laughs> Close. Uh, but I love it. I mean, I can't I can't hold it long, uh, and I'm not a small guy technically. Uh, but I mean, it it's it's heavy. 
it, it, it makes you work for it for sure. So you're rolling out to that, um, and you're going to get to meet Ryan and obviously some other guys. Yeah, absolutely. Um, are you camping? You said it's 4-H, so are you camping? Is no, this is going to be cool. So this particular place in Alabama, I don't remember the exact town. Uh, there, <laughs> you can't, like I'm driving there, so okay. I'll have my car there, which is nice. Uh, or and people are Ubering, like you set to fly to the nearest city and like catch a ride in. Um, it's a 4-H camp, so like it's like a summer camp for kids. So there's dorm rooms, and there are there's a lake, there's a swimming pool. There, I mean, there's a lot of cool like options. I think that we'll have to, to photograph, and there will be some style shoots and stuff as well, and lead shoots by the photographers there. Um, and it's camp, so it's like all the meals are prepared. And like it'll be like camp food, I'm assuming. So uh, I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be uh, a good a good week of hanging out with like-minded people. Why don't they let me go just to do a video of it? I don't want to be, I don't even want to be in the things. I just want to video everything. Mainly you said camp, and it's getting close to Halloween. I so therefore saying, my Jason head Boris. goes back to Jason. And, you know. Hey, and it's the week before Halloween, I'm just saying. I know. Oh, if we don't have somebody come out of that lake with a mask on. Exactly. The week before Halloween. Exactly. That would be dope. That would be, a, and a 4-H camp, it's got to have that creepy old vibe. Man, it's going to be some cool I'll shots. S- I'll send you pictures, or maybe I can attach some of the information on the notes on this, because like it's a, it's actually a really nice place. Uh, and they have different options, so like, you can take a roommate. If you know somebody that's going, I don't know anyone else going, so if you're going, <laughs> let me know. Uh, or they can, like, room you with somebody, like, just kind of first come, first serve. I'm not bashful, so I don't care. It's what I'll sleep on the porch. i got a hammock. I'll be fine. Um... But I think it'll be I think it'll be interesting, personally. But I mean, if you know me at all, I'm way more excited than I sound. Probably. <laughs> so, so when is this taking place? Uh, it's the 21st through the 24th. So Monday through Thursday, 21st uh, through the 24th of this month. Yeah. So we should have a full, like, explanation of everything that happened and <laughs> photos and three yeah. YouTube videos and everything up by what the 25th yeah yeah no oh, okay. uh, so I've, I've considered like taking um, I mean, gosh, I, we have options between the 70 D I've got the D750 I don't shoot video on it though it's the autofocus on video is atrocious knock on what the hell uh, but then, like, our friend Brandon, he's loaned me out his DJI Osmo Pocket. Mm-hmm. So I have options to take video, and I've got the moment lens and the moment case for my iPhone. So, like, I've thought about doing some stuff, like, kind of vlog-ish. But I'm going to be honest with you. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be a little starstruck at this thing because <laughs> of the names and the presenters. That I'm not, I'm just going to be soaking it all up and enjoying myself and not working near as much. Um, sorry, and that's what you're supposed to do. Sorry, I mean, not sorry. <laughs> for those of y'all that don't know Jeremy, Jeremy very, 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 very rarely does anything that he just uh, truly loves and wants to do. So I was, like, fucking ecstatic to hear that he was actually going to go to this. And that's what everybody keeps telling me. He had been sweating it for a minute and looking at it and almost had, like, the PayPal button clicked on his phone. And then he would stop and then he would talk to me and he would talk <laughs> to Tosh and... Anybody that would listen, and they were like, just do it. And he goes, I can't. And so, it's anyways. It's expensive. It's expensive. Sure, it is. No doubt. But most good things in life are. I mean, you know, it's like you can buy <laughs> like us. You can buy a $4 <laughs> bottle of whiskey and get drunk, or you can buy a $200 bottle of whiskey and enjoy it. Not buying whiskey ever. And that's because you're a tequila man. <laughs> <laughs> Jose, Petro, Patron, whatever you want to call it. I love it all. Petro. I got excited. He can't speak Spanish. I think we established that in the opening. This is true. Uh, and we're debating on having a Patreon account. Why is that so yet? So that's what I was thinking. It's not Patron, which I love. I was thinking Patreon because that's a different subject. But, uh, and I cannot speak Spanish. Are we supposed to talk about this before we do this on live? No. Or no? It's not, it's not. Okay. Um, so I guess since you have total fanboy name dropped one name a couple of times in this particular podcast um i think we should probably take a small break because i'm parched and i need a drink and we have to drop in that ad for anchor which is the app that we're using here because believe it or not i mean we've made 86 cents so far i mean we're killing it that's right as soon as we get our first dollar i'm framing that shit making it rain hanging it up in the van on the wall <laughs> <laughs> and, like, never taking it down because we're going to make our first dollar on a podcast. That's right. Um, but, but that's what's um, cool about this. Like, we're not doing this to make money. No, we're not. So it's just funny to watch, like, literal the literal cents <laughs> roll in. <laughs> literal. Cents. We want your two cents. No. <laughs> just kidding. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Throat Punch Pros once again. So, Jeremy, the name drop that you keep doing on said 
podcast is? Keep calling me out. Keep calling me out. Ryan Muirhead. Ryan Muirhead. That's correct. And why is Ryan Muirhead like the be all end all ding dong daddy? <laughs> I mean, well, I say that I joke, but I, I obviously I follow him as well. I know why he is so kind of enamored by this guy, and I, I get it. So, for a brief three minute synopsis on him and his work to everybody listening, you would say, I mean, I think I think he's fearless. Honestly, I think that he takes his insecurities, other people's insecurities, and he makes them beautiful. His the play with light and shadow is unmatched, in my opinion. And he shoots film like predominantly, so like this, it's not like he's pulling out the latest, greatest, like a digital camera, which I'm sure he probably still owns. I know he has a few, but I'm pretty sure he's an M6 35 millimeter fan. Um, but it's like I don't. They're haunting. Like it's hard to describe work. Like, it's work that I would want to produce. Like it's work that makes you stop and it makes you look at and it makes you wonder. Like what they're thinking, like, how they created it, like, what were the emotions, what were the thought process, and, like, I don't think it happens a lot in today's world, especially with Instagram and social media, it's, like, it's so easy, like, just to scroll and double tap and scroll and scroll and scroll, but, like, his work, and then the, there's another film photographer uh, that I'll mention later on, because um, I can never say her name, if I'm honest with you, but it, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try, <laughs> uh, but it's the same with her, and most of her work's self-portraits, and Ryan does some of that, too, but um, it's just, it, it's, it's rare to me to stumble across anything, whether it's a song or a painting or a photographer or a photograph, that literally makes you stop for a second and think about it. And it catches me every time. And like since day one, I've just been fascinated by it. Yeah, and especially in today's world where we're all that person that's literally sitting here going, oh, let me scroll on my phone, and oh yeah, there's a cool double tap, and that's it. You know, there's we're in that world anymore of... Uh, I almost wish, and, and there was another podcast, and uh, I think another video that I saw, actually, there was, um, I think it was actually Peter and Matt, Peter McKinnon and Matt, um, talking about Instagram was bullying Canada, because Instagram <laughs> was taking the likes off, so they couldn't see the oh, likes, yeah, so right. if it was my picture I posted, I could see the likes, but nobody else could. Um, I almost wish they would do that, I'm not even going to lie, I wish they would take the likes away, the so comments away, oh, so yeah. it was just the raw well, art. That we all produce because those those things are the or what you know that's why I started on Instagram is to look and see those things. But anyways, back to what I'm saying. I'm sorry, guy too, sorry, sure. totally random. That we're in that world where we're scrolling and we just don't stop. We don't even read. I could post a beautiful picture and be like the most horrible statement in the world underneath no, it. No it. Nine times out of ten, nobody's gonna see that. They just see the photo. They double tap. They do whatever. They move on. So I agree. I mean, I think that's part of it too. Is like. I mean, and I'll intentionally, I know a lot of photographers do, and I know you've done it as well, like, we'll intentionally, like, ask a question or try to engage, because, like, just to see if anybody's actually reading the stuff, yeah. you know, and, like, more times than not, the answer's no. I mean, we're lucky. I think we've got a pretty good family, friend base. Like, I think those people look at it, sure. but, like, outside of that, I think people are just, like, moving on. Yep. But, I mean, I'm... Double I'm, tap, I'm, cool pick, moving on. But I try to, to be the opposite of that. Like, if I, if I see if I do I really like, I try to read through it and, like see like what's going on like sometimes it's clickbait that's fine <laughs> you got me yeah. every time but i mean yeah that it, it's just i don't know film makes you slow down and his work is primarily film and it makes you slow down too i think and that, i think I, I just want that i just want one time to somebody see my film a shot of mine like crap like man where was he at that day like what was his head space like that day? Yeah. like where was he where was he pulling the inspiration from for that like that's pretty genuine yeah i think i don't know so, I guess, um, as he tears out of here and goes to Alabama. Not before we have another one of these, though. No, we got one more of these before we go in. Um, so, but we'll have to get an update from that for sure. Um, yeah, that'll be something. Yeah, I'm glad you're going. Like legit. I'm excited. It's going to miss you. I'm excited. I mean, I don't know who's going to be the big spoon when you're gone. You know, that's a week we'll have to skip the podcast. I won't be home for a Wednesday. Yeah, no. It's going to suck. Yep. I'm a little sad now. Yeah, we've kind of got this Wednesday routine thing down now. <laughs> we do. I know we just kind of alternate more sound in Johnson City. It's been nice. So. Yeah. we got to go somewhere else soon. Yeah. Um, because we're kind of talking nice. about, well, we've been talking about a couple of things. Um, still waiting to get a little more feedback from everybody here that's watching and listening to stuff, too. Um, we've had some discussions on doing some different chats, and, and there's a guy in Knoxville that we've discussed about having a chat with as well mm -hmm. who is uh, a great photographer. I'll not drop his name yet because I don't have confirmation, but a uh, great photographer um, and actually does some killer video too. One of the, the things that I uh, 
Jeremy and I both have discussed back and forth is the difference in his mind versus my mind versus the photography versus the videography and what I see and how far I'm trying to look ahead and do a, a whip pan or know where this shot's got to come in or that shot's got to go out and Jeremy can just pull up and go oh that's cool click boom and move on but he knows there's shot too so there's there's just a whole different mindset there um, so I thought it was a conversation that I would like to have uh, with maybe a innocent bystander <laughs> that also does both. So he yeah. would get it, you know, uh, sure. just to get some extra input on that. But hopefully that's coming up here in the next couple of weeks, too. Jeremy's going to be going to Alabama and come back, give us a full update on that. Um, I may not come back. I couldn't blame you. <laughs> I mean, I've never, I've never been to Alabama. So we'll see. We'll see yeah. Can you carry in Alabama? Is it legal? I'll find out. <laughs> I should look into that. Yeah, you definitely should. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for listening. That uh, is the end of episode four. Kind of cut it out a little short on you there, just mainly because we're running out of time. But uh, And last week's was a little longer than most, so we're trying to alternate. We are. We're trying to be kind of <laughs> mindful of your time. We know your time is busy, but we do appreciate you listening. Hopefully I sounded louder today. I'm trying to be bolder in my <laughs> vocals. Um, again, if you uh, looking for us anywhere, you can go find us on our website, which is www.throatpunchpros. That's p r o s dot com. That's getting an update soon too, by the way. It is coming, getting an update very, very soon. All the links to social are on there: um, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitters, <laughs> blogs, anything you can think of. I even I have a Tumblr, there. but I don't use it. Just I don't much. have a Tumblr. Visco. We have a Visco. We've never used that either. I have 500 px too. Like, we can do this oh, for days. Oh, yeah, I have that, too. I forget. So, Sorry. We're but, social media whores. Um, <laughs> the anyways. Day, the day we live. The website, www.throatpunchpros.com. Check it out. Um, obviously, there's merchandise on there. The new shirts are going to be live and dropping Monday. It there, is Monday. There's, there's a YouTube video up. There is a YouTube video up? It, it, it should be up as of now. Oh, that's right. There is a YouTube Wait, no, video it's definitely up. up by now. That was last week. Well, I know, but it's been updating and uploading. That's true, too. That's true, too. Obviously, we have may have exported it a little larger than we meant to, so it took a minute to upload. It's but an 18 minute video. We know that. It is. It is. <laughs> so, um, if you do the YouTube thing, that would be awesome. Like, click, subscribe. Uh, that would be amazing for us, too. Um, there's a couple of videos that we were planning that are getting ready to come out, uh, not of just us rambling into a camera at a podcast, but That's some other fun. stuff that we're making. That's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So, um, again, thank you all very, very much. And peace out. Are you going to tell everybody goodbye as you leave us? Not yet. I'll tell you by next week. All right, cool. Till then. You just miss me. <laughs> <laughs> my penis, my penis, my penis. That way you can't use this footage. Yeah, it's not good. Which way? I can't Bro. see. Bro. <sighs> two snakes that have the last two times. <laughs> I wish you'd see how straight it is. Is it not? <laughs> I was left in the hole. I got it in the hole. <laughs> oh, it's still processing. Hey, you know, nobody ever said this shit was fun. It says, it says, yeah. It says, Matt's mom.